club. Everything's going to be a club from now on. No, not really. I'm just joking. Um, I thought that I'd do a video about books because I am totally book mad. And one of my favourite things to say all the time is, oh, I was reading this book and, and I just love books 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 everywhere i've always loved them since i was a little, little girl and um they've just honestly books have changed my life so big so i was going to do a book video about all the books that we've got but the thing is we've got that many it'd be hours and hours long so what i thought i'd do is break it down into sections of types of books that have really impacted my life and that I would highly recommend that you read too. <coughs> Excuse me. If you can hear a noise, I'm on a rocking chair. So, uh, today I wanted to start with uh, all the kind of spiritual enlightening books um, that have really helped me, like empowering books um, that are not not necessarily just for women but they are very women led um the first lot anyway and i'm really interested in learning about her story so instead of it being history like the man his story um her story because over the years starting from goodness knows when women's stories have not been told the same as men's stories um and even when you watch things like authors and stuff back in the day, women authors were, had to use a different name because women's books wouldn't sell, which was just crazy it, because they did. Anyway, so it's all kind of spiritual, women's empowerment, that kind of thing today. And if you stay right to the end, I am also going to have an extra bit at the end which is a bedtime story for grown-ups and for kids but mainly for grown-ups because I love bedtime stories and you will get to meet Felicity the Swan so that's pretty cool uh, so first of all the I'm going to go through this pile of books that I've got here and talk a little bit about each one and then you go and check them out now um, as I always say I have, I'm not an affiliate of any of these things I don't get any compensation for recommending them these are actual books that I have read that have helped me uh, along my journey and they might help you okay so first of all is light is the new black by Rebecca Campbell now Rebecca Campbell is the lady that does the work your light and star seed oracle cards which are magical and she's written this book as well and it's a really nice easy read book and it's got little uh, chapters in it which is really easy to to get into and it just loads of like quotes and it, it's all about what lights you up and following that passion that lights you up so it's for women that want to be bright lights or that are bright lights in the world that are doing their own thing it's a really nice book it's um it says a guide to answering your soul's calling and working your light so that's the first one that that's a lovely book and I've only read that one once, but I am going to reread it at some point when I've read all my other books. The next one was gifted to me by a lady who said that I needed to read this book. And oh, did I need to read this book. It's a life changing book. Um, it fills us with the passion to want to change. And it's called Burning Woman by Lucy Pierce. I love Lucy Pierce's work. Um, I've already got the other book or other book which is not on my pile um, I wonder if it's by my bed I'll have to find it and show it to you but it's an incredible so this is wonderful she has many many good books uh, but this is a brilliant one and it's about um, the root of feminine power and all when as women and as witches we were burned for speaking our truth and being ourselves and this is about lighting the fire back inside you rekindling that passion so it's a great book this one i haven't read all of it yet but i know it's going to be good i've read about half of it 
um, and it is called The Holy Wild, A Heathen Bible for the Untamed Woman um, by Danielle Dulski and it's really good so far. It's like um, I was saying about <sighs> sometimes as women we get called all sorts of names and actually there's nothing wrong with being a wild woman, uh, there's nothing wrong with being an untamed woman. Um, that, you know, you've just got to embrace it all, but we've been told over the years to be a good girl, be quiet, all that kind of stuff. Well, it, yeah, this book's really good. It's, um, it just brings everything together about being powerful and, um, all the spirits and stuff. Like, when I say spirits, I mean like air, earth, water, all that kind of thing. Um, and getting you in touch with your, the, the three different, the maiden, the crone and the mother. Um, it's just brilliant, really nice so far. So yeah, I need to finish that one. This one is massive and really hard to read. Um, and I have not read it all yet either. It's called The Great Cosmic Mother. Uh, rediscovering the religion of the earth and it has also got um, coloured art in it as well um, not coloured art black and white art that was originally coloured in it um, and this is all about her story so going back through time um, and actually telling the stories of women rather than from the stories of men now there's bits in it that make you go what oh my god i didn't know that and it's one of those books where you keep having these epiphanies and then and being angry well i i get angry that we've been lied to for so many years about different historical things um and so that's really good a really really good book but it is a hard read well it is it's hard for me it might be easy for you i like books that just flow easily i can read them quickly and it goes in this is one of those books where you have to process the different things because it's about um it's about her story um so that's yeah it's quite a a deep it's a deep book not hard it's deep and massive um this one I go back to a lot and it's life changing in the way of that it's easy to, to use. It's called The Big Book of Practical Spells, Everyday Magic That Works and it's brilliant. It is, um, even if you've been practicing magic for years and years and years, it's a really great book. So it's a basic book but it also goes in depth in some areas and there's all different spells in it and all different sections so it's really good because you can just flip to the index and see what's going down and then find the bit that you want um so the, yeah there's all sorts so there's like all different spells that are written in it and stuff um but then it's also got practical things as well like about the elements and yeah all sorts of things so this is a much loved book I often get it out and I often use this um, when I'm looking things up for research as well so that's a lovely lovely book I kind of wish it was all illustrated like this throughout because I think that would just make it like perfect for me but yeah that's a really nice one Moonology by Yasmin Boland now if you've not got hold of Yasmin Boland yet on social media I highly recommend you get over there get on her pages get on her newsletter list um, because this is brilliant and what she puts out there is brilliant too Moonology is working with the magic of the moon and today when I'm recording this it's a full moon today it's a snow moon because we are in February and this is a brilliant book it has got everything in it that you need to know about the moon phases and about how they so yeah this is all about the phases of the moon and it's inside it's got this um great diagram which you can figure out where what star sign you are and then where the moon is 
so which um, zodiac sign the moon's in and then you go down on the chart and you find out what house that is for you and then you find the house that it is for you and whether it's a new moon or a full moon and it tells you about all what that is for the month ahead so it's a really really great book um, and I highly recommend linking up to her as well because she puts out really great information and the full moon is all about letting go letting go of anything that doesn't serve you anything for the past month that you don't need anymore so it's really nice to do a full moon ritual and it can be something as simple as writing stuff on a piece of paper and then burning it safely or burying it in the garden it's all about letting letting go so i love to do full moon days i love to moon bathe as well the next are two books by the same author lisa lister she is one of my favorite authors in the whole wide world because oh oh my god these books are just like an amazing bible they are like an amazing bible of knowledge for your womanly parts for everything that you need to know that you didn't get told um ah oh, fantastic so love your lady landscape uh, is the first one that i've read and it is so well loved and i have read it and read it and read it and it's got everything in it that you need to know and understand about your cycles and working with your cycles and how our um, womb space is our power portal um, it's just honestly I couldn't highly recommend this enough it's just fantastic and code red is all about working with your cycles so um, in your cycles you've got four different areas and I won't go into it massively because you, you can learn about it from Lisa Lister's website or you can buy the book I recommend the book um, but yeah you've got four different phases in your cycle and even if you've stopped bleeding you still have a cycle anyway um, and it's really really great to know that like on day 14 you could be super horny and then on day 27 you've just got no interest in that at all and you would rather just do some nice yoga and slow movements and stuff and it's it's been brilliant actually to schedule my work around my cycles because i know that in the last week before bleed time that i will shouldn't be on social media i get so wound up and combative on social media so i know that i shouldn't actually be on it then but i used to think it was just me and there was something wrong with me getting angry um and I know that if I'm going to do anything like videos and um, presentations and stuff like that I need to do them um, in my first couple of weeks because that's when I'm most um, switched on in my brain uh, so it's brilliant really brilliant and this code red one if you've got a teenage daughter I highly recommend you buy it for her because oh my god if we'd have all been given one of these as teenagers uh, mind blowing honestly mind blowing J just fantastic so i highly recommend all her books i've got her other book here which we will get to soon um but yeah brilliant brilliant books these should be given out to all teenage girls around the world because flipping heck what a game changer that would be so highly recommend them and then we have got I've got I'll jump to this one actually because it is by the same author Lisa Lister this book which is my all-time favorite favorite book after the twits um, it felt like coming home when I read this it just felt like finally all the pieces slotted into place i realized who i was why i'm like i am and how i have been it 
taught me everything that I needed to know about myself as a woman, as a healer and as a natural living herbal woman. It was just, honestly, it was just incredible. And the thing is, I got brought up as a, in a Christian household when I was a child. Um, and and it was a, a loving household, but it was very, it was very Christian. Um, you know, you went to Sunday school, we had Bible meetings. In our spare time, we had to deliver these leaflet things called tracts um, to try and get other people to sign up to the church. It was full on. And I couldn't understand why that it didn't sit right with me. There was something that didn't, it just didn't sit right. Um, and then I got older and when I was at art college, when I was 16, we was having a discussion about art history and it was about evolution. And the teacher said about us coming from monkeys. Um, and I was like, no, we don't come from monkeys. Um, and I looked round and everyone in the class was looking at me like I was weird. And the teacher was looking at me a bit like, oh, how am I going to handle this one? Um, and I just didn't understand it. There was obviously more to the discussion, I'm being really brief. But when I got home, I said to my mum what had happened. And she was like, oh yeah, other people believe in different things. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> um, so from then on, I started looking into different religions. And um, I realised that they all say basically the same thing. Um, and then when I was much older, I started looking into spirituality. Now the confusing part for me was that I had all the traits, I suppose you'd call them, as, of being a witch. Um, but being brought up as a Christian, I was taught that witches were evil. Couldn't understand it, it's a really weird thing. I felt like I was had to hide part of myself for many years. I felt like that I knew that I was powerful and if I performed a spell, it would work, but that frightened me too. So many, many years later, I'm now in my forties, um, I read this book and it was like I had permission to fully embrace myself. And I also realized that there's many different kinds of witches. There's many different kinds of um, ways to practice. The, uh, yeah it's just fantastic so basically a witch just means wise woman that is all it means a healer uh, a wise woman and without going into all the history of it all um, it it's been shocking the way that women have been treated over the years because some men have scared of women in the power um, it's absolutely disgusting actually and I'm just blessed that now in 2021, I can actually speak up and say, yes, I am a witch. No, I'm not evil. No, I won't turn people into newts. Like, what a load of rubbish that is. Um, I am a wise woman and I am a healer and I work with plants and I work with herbs. I'm proud to say that now, but for many years I wasn't. And, um, what a blessing it is that I can actually say that out loud because I live in England and uh, and because I'm not condemned to death if I said that out loud. Like, I'm so grateful for that. I know there's many women in the world that still can't stand up and be themselves and that really saddens me. Um, but this book is beautiful. It is absolutely fantastic and it's so well loved and so well read. It's just, out of all the books that I'm going to show you today, th this one is number one. Number one! Um, yeah, amazing. Lisa Lister, what a woman. So next we have got another of my favourite authors, um, Mark Allen. Now, Mark Allen, I found him on YouTube, have a look for him. And it's Mark spelt with a C, not a K. Um, and he does meditations and they're really quick. There's some for three minutes and four minutes and 12 minutes. Um, and his meditations are wonderful, really, really good. So I discovered him through my friend Kirsty, 
who told me about affirmations and I'd never heard of what affirmations were before. And affirmations are just a sentence to make firm something in your life. So I had totally changed and transformed my life through affirmations. Um, and it's, it's so easy, you just say them and believe them. And even when you don't believe them, you can just say them because eventually your subconscious believes them. So Mark Allen is fabulous and he wrote this book and it's a tiny little book. It's a really quick, easy read called The Greatest Secret of All. And it's really lovely and it's all about the law of attraction and how we can live an abundant, fulfilled, joyous life. Um, so it's a really nice little book and it, it goes through everything about we are born with all the gifts that we need. We just have to use them and believe that we can manifest the life that we want to. So that's a really nice little quick book by Mark. And then this one, it's been read that much that my back cover's actually falling off it. That's how many times I've read it over and over and over again. And it's called The Magical Path. Um, and it's unleashing the creative power that's inside you and to create the life of your dreams, basically. And it goes through everything. It goes through affirmations, meditation. Um, it's just fabulous so if you're new to um spirituality or doing anything that's a bit mm, different um this is a great book for you to get but even though i've read it a billion times i still go back to it because what i love to do is this i just flick through and go right what is it for today and there's all these highlighted bits in black and for today it says you can make a conscious decision to change your beliefs and create more money in your life. The choice is up to you. So I love to use it like that now. I just open it and then read a passage out of it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Mark, that is spot on. So it's a really brilliant book. And he's also written this one, Tantra for the West, a direct path to living the life of your dreams. Um, through tantric living now it's not on about being all bendy and getting into weird positions like sting um but it is about bringing tantra into your daily practice and your daily life so it's got creativity meditation and yoga aging and healing politics even in there freedom all sorts of stuff um it has got sex in there as well and relationships but it's not just about that. So that's a really nice book as well to follow. Um, Mark Allen is brilliant, check him out as well. And then we've got Elizabeth Gilbert who wrote Eat, Love and Pray, which I've got up on my shelf, which is beautiful. And she also she wrote quite a few books, but these are the ones that I've got. Big Magic. Big Magic is brilliant it's about being creative and living beyond the fear of um what creatives get and it is really good and it's got so many different analogies in it that for me as a creative brain i can like picture which is really really good so it's she digs into her own stuff um and she has a beautiful way of writing, Elizabeth Gilbert. And it's, yeah, it's really good. So if you're, if you're creative or you've got creative blocks or you have fears around creativity, this is a brilliant, brilliant book to get. Then nearly to the end of the pile, Kindling the Native Spirit by Denise Lynn, who is um, a Cherokee lady and this is beautiful it's all about well, what it says kindle the native spirit but basically sacred practices for your life um coming at it from a native american perspective and it is really lovely i've got a real um love for this because it it's just it's got exercises in it's got rituals in it's got practical things that you can actually do and you actually feel like you are connecting more deeply with spirit um 
and yeah that's a really really nice book and then lastly we have got this book now Susanna is an artist in Portugal and I found her either through Instagram or Facebook or maybe it was before then but anyway she's just a dream the pictures that she paints are beautiful and she made this book um, it's called she speaks with the animals and the flowers and in in it each page has got beautiful illustrations of hers um, that she created look how gorgeous they are and each one is a message from animals or flowers or space or fairies and it is just adorable I just love it and it I read this daily I just again I just go like this I want to pick a page and read it and it is just really lovely so let's do that now and see what happens this one so we've got white eagle today I won't read all of it, I'll just read a little brief part of it. It says, I am the white e eagle and today I bring you a message from the skies, a message of hope and purity of the spirit world. From above I bring you a gem, it is a rare gem that only, that only who is prepared can receive. Life itself is full of blessings, can you perceive them? You already know that you are the creator of your own reality and only you can create the life you live in. I bring a gift from the skies for you, a gift that will help you create the life you want, the one you have been asking for for a long time, a gift of knowledge, a gift from the purest wisdom, a light so pure that every thought and belief that doesn't serve you will vanish forever and bring you the peace of the creator. Isn't it beautiful? And it goes it goes on more, more than that, but um, yeah, find Susanna on Instagram and... Uh, or online as well she, yeah fabulous fabulous now a couple of the other books that i haven't got here they're just up on my shelf that i didn't get down are the secret um and i've talked about the secret a lot in past videos and how it's totally changed my life um and that's a big statement isn't it to me but it's true but it wasn't actually the book it was the documentary that you can find on youtube and netflix that's the one that changed my life and then I got the book and it was kind of just going over the same things in the documentary and she's also written another few books and I've got them all uh, The Magic which is 28 steps you take different steps every day to implement the law of attraction in your life um, Hero which is all about the hero's journey different people who um, have gone on a journey from poverty or hardship into really being successful and uh, also the power she wrote the power as well which basically just backs up all the other books as well so um if you've not watched the documentary definitely watch it it's really good it's all about the law of attraction and how it works and stuff um and i explain the law of attraction in the way that if you plant a seed in a pot you expect that seed to grow you water it you give it light and you love it and you you just expect it to grow now us when we plant an idea or we ask the universe or whoever for something we obsess about it like oh my god i need this i need this we don't just think ah i've planted that seed i'm now gonna let it grow i'll give it love and i'll nurture it like water and light of a plant you have to actually make steps you actually do things so you can't just sit here and be like give me a house in norway um you have to actually do things to make that happen so it's not you just sit and go Ta because in the documentary it shows like you've got a genie a magical genie you can ask it wishes and then the wishes come true but i think the bit that it misses out is that yes you can sit there and ask for it to come true and certain things definitely just do appear weirdly but also you have to actually make an effort you have to actually do something yourself um you know i wouldn't 
get wonderful customers and patrons and things like that if I didn't put myself out on social media. If I just sat at home making and never shared what I made, nobody would ever know about it, would they? So that's the missing thing. So when you plant a seed or an idea, you let it go. Letting it go is the key part to manifestation and the law of attraction because you are not in that energy of needing it and wanting it and keeping it so much you are expansive and you then are attractive as well to other things and other people and energies coming in so that's another book that um I don't I, it's not that I recommend it or I don't recommend it but if you can just watch the documentary because it tells you everything that you need to know as well in there and there's plenty more books that I could talk about loads and loads of books but these are some of my favorites so I shall make a list in the um, blurb underneath the video of what the books are called and the authors so you can discover them yourself Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Dottie Delightful. That's me. And this is Felicity. Now Felicity is a ballerina swan. She has little ballerina shoes and a pink tutu. And I treated myself to Felicity a couple of years ago because I missed having a stuffy and somebody to cuddle up with. And she's perfect for cuddling. So Felicity joins me for Bedtime Stories quite a lot. And her fur is very smooth. Obviously, if she was a real swan, oh, she is a real swan in the wild. She would have feathers and not fur. And she would have bigger wings. Look at her little wings. But I really like Felicity. So she's joining me today for bedtime stories. Now, I love listening to bedtime stories, even though I'm a grown up. And my favourite bedtime story so far is wild. This is a beautiful book by Hawaiian author Emily Hughes and today we're going to read it. I love it so much because it reminds me of me. It says inside this book belongs to Runty Pipkin. Runty Pipkin is my nickname. Wild by Emily Hughes. Oh Felicity, you'll have to move up a little bit. Thank you. No one remembered how she came to the woods, but all knew it was right. The whole forest took her as their own. Look, can you see her? There she is, with the bear. Bird taught her how to speak. Bear taught her how to eat. Look, catching fish in the river. Fox taught her how to play. Look at her in the burrow. What's wrong, Felicity? Can you not see the pictures? Let's move you around this side. Is that better? Good. And she understood and she was happy. Look how happy she is in a burrow asleep with all the animals. One day she met some new animals in the forest. Oh, she doesn't look happy. These are humans and a sad doggy. They found her strange and she found them strange too. Look at the poor doggy in the rain. Oh, they did everything wrong. Measuring a head look, pulling a hair, trying to brush it. But we wild ones know 
that you've got lugs and leaves and all sorts of things in your hair. They spoke wrong. This man's trying to tell her, K, a cat. They ate wrong. This lady's trying to teach her how to eat with a knife and fork, but she's wild and been eating with the bears. They played wrong. Oh dear, I don't think she's very happy. And she didn't understand. And she wasn't very happy. So she hid under the bed. Enough was enough. <gasps> uh oh, she's having a tantrum. Oh dear, look at the mess they've made. They've ripped everything, pulled it down. They've been wild. Everyone remembered how she left and all knew it was right. Look how happy she is. And the dog and the cat went to the forest with her. Because you cannot tame something so happily wild. Look at her in the tree with the squirrels. The end. I love that book. And I think Felicity loves it too, don't you Felicity? Yes. If you've got a favourite book, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to read it. And the moment I really want to get Phoebe Wall's books. I've watched other people read them on YouTube and they look amazing. Lovely picture books like this. Sleep tight!